Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been about a month since I have posted, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I do want to apologize right at the beginning. Uh, if you hear my dog barking, she's on the other side of the house, but she is on squirrel patrol, so you, you might hear a dog. I doubt I can get through 10 minutes without her barking. <laughs> well, um, this painting... Uh, it took me actually quite a while to paint, not in actively, there she goes, not in actively painting it, but uh, I started it, I think, either late September or early October and didn't finish it until the beginning of November. I was hoping to get this painting out by Halloween because it is kind of a Halloween style painting but oh well I still I still like it and I like this kind of stuff whether it's Halloween or not so I hope that you guys enjoy it as well so I was also doing Inktober I only got about halfway through Inktober and my next video I will be flipping through all of my Inktober drawings that I did, and even though I only got about 14 out of the 31 done, I, I'm, I'm still proud of myself for for getting that much done with as rough as a month as October was for me. Unfortunately, I had some health issues as well as my dog having some health issues. I will get into that in a little bit, but first I do want to talk about the painting a little bit and some new techniques that I tried at least towards the end of the painting and I think they were relatively successful but I think it'll be more successful once I start implementing it a little bit more uh, what's the word more in a more bold way I think I was a little too timid with how I was painting this, or using the technique in this painting. I really like to have too much control in with watercolor. Sometimes the beauty of it is that it does what it wants. So I tried really hard to let the, let the paint and the water kind of work together and let them do what they're gonna do without me being so obsessed with with everything being really, really tight and clean. So, uh, you can kind of see me using the technique in, in the petals here where I lay down a color and then I, I add the red to the base of the flower and just kind of let it, let it flow and, and do its thing. I, I still think that I could have, especially in the, in the petals, done that a little bit a little bit better uh, or at least a little more loose but I, I think I was headed in the right direction I'll eventually do that with with the character's sweater as well as his hair and I think it's a little more successful there I also am trying to use uh, more more color in in different areas like instead of just using a a really flat color kind of splashing in little little bits of other colors to make areas more interesting kind of you can you can see it here where I add some green I add some blue and some maroons mix up some purples it just makes it a little more interesting to look at and I think that it would have this piece would have been a little more successful had I uh, been a little more bold with that so I've talked a little bit about the painting other other than than trying to be a little more loose. I think I've done everything the same as I normally would using my regular paints and um, the paper I'm using is the Ready Cut Watercolor Paper by Strathmore. It's their Series 500 um, in 11 by 14. I actually really like this paper. It's somewhere between a hot press and a cold press. It is labeled as a cold press, but it is smoother 
actually quite a bit smoother than the uh, cold press by Arches. Arches does have quite quite a texture to it, which I love, but I, I actually really like the texture of the ready cut watercolor paper. I, I suggest it definitely. So I do want to talk a little bit about how rough of a month October was for me and why I'm at least proud of myself for getting most of this painting done in that month as well as getting a decent amount of my Inktober's done within I think it was the second week of October. Well the first week of October, I'm, I'm born in October, um, my birthday's in the first week of October. But that didn't really affect me too much. I had a bit of a cold, but I was going strong with my Inktober's. I was working on this painting and was on track to have this video out before Halloween. Uh, then about the second week of October, my husband was walking our dog and a random dog came out of nowhere and attacked my dog. and bit her leg and she had to have surgery. Very sad. She So we rushed her to the emergency vet and she had surgery on her leg and had to wear a cone for like two weeks. The poor thing, she hated it so much. And um, so that was that was a big a, a, a big thing. I had to take a lot of time to take care of her and make sure she was getting all her medications on time and I just was a little too overwhelmed to make sure I was doing an Inktober every day but I did keep working on them. I had fallen behind because of it but that's okay. I'll talk more about Inktober in my Inktober video but that's kind of what happened and that's kind of why this got delayed as well. Then she got her stitches out and she got her cone off and she was very happy and she is 100% okay now and she is feeling good and is her normal crazy self. Now, maybe like a week after that, I actually got food poisoning and um, ended up going to the emergency room twice in a week. So I was very, very sick. I was pretty much unable to do anything. I couldn't even bring myself to lift my arms to draw. So I kind of just let myself chill out and heal because I really needed it. I, I've never been stuck by so many needles in my life and I it was it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Normally I've had food poisoning before, maybe like once, but it went away after two days. This was a week and then I had to have antibiotics and the state health department called me and to see like where I got this. It was, it was a whole thing. It was ridiculous. I cannot believe how sick I was. But uh, yeah, so I missed a lot of work and I was very, very sick so I didn't draw, I didn't paint, I didn't do anything for a whole week. I basically just slept and was sick. But, oh yeah. Um, so that's why this is out in mid-November now, but that's okay. Sometimes we just have to take care of ourselves and take care of our families and I don't think anyone will will fault us for that. <laughs> so this is nearing the end of the painting. I did use some watercolor pencils. I have the Faber-Castell uh, watercolor pencils just to bring back in some lightness into the skull, some into his skin, and I'm, I'm really happy with, with how this painting turned out. I think that there are some uh, instances that I could have improved. Of course, there's always always things that could be better, but ultimately I think it, it looks really nice. I did also make a frame for this 
painting as well and I'll show you that once I get that that tape off in my video. Um, I also have this painting as well as prints available for pre-order on my Etsy. So my Etsy is linked down below so if you are interested in getting a copy of this painting for yourself or the original you can definitely go do that. I also have prints of my other artworks up on my Etsy as well so make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching my video guys and I will see you soon. Bye bye.